What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be going over a selection of the Harbor Freight Badland recovery gear, like this soft shackle, D-ring, and most importantly, this 20 foot strap. That's one thing that I'm going to test today is see how much this actually stretches uh, to give you that snatch recovery compared to, let's say, my Yankum ropes or a regular standard two inch uh, recovery strap. So stick around. I'm out snow wheeling today in the Montero and uh, actually used all this gear. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I used and how well it did. For those of you that are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me some comments down below and it really helps us out in the algorithm when you subscribe, leave comments, like, all those normal things. I thought Every time I go to the Harbor Freight, I see more and more uh, recovery gear, snatch blocks, uh, all kinds of stuff, shovels, everything that you expect to see a good in a good recovery kit, good recovery bag, they now have just all over where these winches are at. This is by far my favorite uh, thing that Harbor Freight has come out with, the soft shackle. It's 35 bucks. It's basically wrapped in this tightly wrapped protective sleeve that's held on really nicely on both ends so it doesn't move around and I really like it. I've used it uh, you know three or four or five times after a couple trips and it's still like brand new. So 100% I'd recommend getting one or two of these. The only reason I didn't buy two is because I already have uh, a yank and ropes one. The other thing, not gonna really talk about it, D-rings. This is a three quarter inch D-ring. The Badland one, it's 10 bucks or if you're an inside track club member like myself, I got this, it was like $6.99. So I should have bought two of these, but I, I have another one. It's a three quarter inch D-ring. It's gonna work, it's steel. I mean, there's really not much to say about it besides uh, you can get it for about seven bucks, which is absolutely uh, super cheap. So some other stuff that you can get at Harbor Freight, I did not buy because I already have them, so I'm not gonna spend my money just to buy it. Um, a folding shovel, this is a Smitty built one. They have the same one, it's super cheap. Uh, I'd recommend having one for the snow, stuff like that. A four inch tree protector strap. Now, Badland has one, it's $27.99. This is a Smitty built one. Um, I don't remember the price, I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, but I've had this one for years and it still works great. It's important thing to have, tree saver. The other thing I didn't buy is a snatch block because I have a nice snatch block right here and I don't, I'm not gonna spend money on one when I already have one. I actually have two. This one is for synthetic rope, and I have another one in another bag that is for strictly for uh, cable. Another thing I will show you is I do have a few of these 7 8 uh, Smitty built uh, pin style ones, not the screw on style ones, but I put this in my kind of throwaway bag of stuff I don't use anymore because I ended up not liking the pin. I thought I was gonna like the pin because uh, it just, you don't have to screw it in. You just put the pin in. But what happens is, is these pins uh, bend and cause issues and it's really difficult to get them in and out. And I just really didn't like them so I threw them in my spare uh, recovery gear bag. Now they also have a three inch, 30 foot one. Like I said, this one is a two inch 20 foot one, I probably would never use a 30 foot one, the three inches, it's kind of overkill for my Jeep, which weighs about 4,500 pounds. Probably if you have a full size rig, something really heavy, I would definitely recommend getting the little bit bigger uh, recovery rope and, and or strap and shackles. Uh, but for my application, the two inch is way more than enough. They also have an aluminum winch shackle mount. It replaces your hook on here. I had one on my Smitty Built when I changed it to synthetic rope, and I did not like it. It basically sticks out, there's no hook, it just has a hole that you can put your soft shackle or your D-ring through, and my issue with it was it sticks out too far, and uh, I basically was running into stuff first on that uh, aluminum shackle mount. Uh, I know a lot of people use them, they just leave the rope loose, and have the soft shackle and they just run it to a shackle here and it just kind of hangs down. And I don't really like that either. One of my favorite things about this winch is the hook that comes with it. Get it out here. So this hook 
is absolutely amazing. This is, like I said, almost three years old. Uh, you can see it's a little bit rusty and uh, still operates beautifully. No bends. It is, I mean, this is my favorite part right here. I much prefer having this big beefy hook. I can just take it. I don't have to do anything and just slam it onto the end of the recovery rope, the soft shackle, anything like that. It's so quick and easy. I like that it's large and when I put it up against the fair lead, it folds in and it's basically flush and the, the bull bar on this bumper sticks out a little bit farther than it so it protects the whole bumper. You can buy these individually just this size. This is a 3.8 size. You can buy uh, the smaller one, like the one that was on my Subaru, the Apex 5500 winch. Now this is a two inch wide by 20 foot long nylon webbed recovery snatch strap. So the braking strength on this is 20,000 pounds and it is rated at 6,600 pounds under a load. So the, a recovery snatch strap like this one is uh, will have some a little bit of give to it. So it's not like a toe strap or like a strap uh, that you would wrap around a tree. Those are a slightly different. They don't have any give to them. I really like these reinforced loops on the end here and these abrasion guards that you can actually move them around. So if you're on a spot where part of the rope might rub, you can actually slide this down to that area that you need the abrasion resistant area on. So I'm going to do a very basic test. It's not going to be 100% how much they would stretch in real life when you're doing a full pull on them. I'm just going to stretch them out with my two vehicles. Uh, Jeep weighs about 4,500 pounds. The Montero weighs about 4,700 pounds. I'm just going to stretch it out until it starts moving the Jeep and then we're going to do some measuring. The setup for this is not going to be crazy scientific. I have a set point for my tape measure that I can measure off of every single one instead of measuring the rope itself. This is a, I believe, a 12 foot standard recovery strap measuring directly from this location right here to the end of the rope with our tape measure. Just by holding it by hand, I pulled it as tight as I could get it with my hand and my body and measured it. And also I'm using all steel. I'm not using my soft shackles to leave that factor out of it, the stretch of the soft shackles, these aren't gonna stretch. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna slowly back it up until it's tight. So we have the Badland snatch strap now. Slowly back it out. Oh, wasn't paying attention, I was looking behind me. So just for fun, we're gonna do the Yankum rope. It looks like I have enough room in the driveway to do it. This is definitely a way cushier. I can just feel, I don't even feel that it's engaged for quite a while. So I just let off the brake and put in the drive and I felt the rope like launch me forward. The Yankum rope, <laughs> rope definitely gives you that um, kinetic, like extra oomph that you're gonna need to get out, especially in the snow, deep mud, stuff like that. There is no replacement for this kinetic rope. To keep this part short and sweet, this old uh, recovery rope that I have right here, it stretched seven and a half inches from the initial measurement to the stretch measurement. Our new Badland rope, this thing stretched eight inches. So it stretched about the same, uh, they're on, I would say they're on the same, you know, amount of stretch. And then obviously the Yankum rope, which is a totally different ball game kind of rope. It stretched two feet, one inches. So, and when I let off the e-brake and put it into drive, I could feel it actually pull me forward. Now I know probably stretching the kinetic rope all the way out and then holding it there and then measuring it probably is not the best for it. Um, but you know, I really wanted to see how much it stretched compared to like a recovery snatch strap. So bottom line, this is a high quality, a really nice strap for 50 bucks, but it is the kinetic rope that's going to absolutely catapult you out uh, of a situation. Probably not. Will it soften the blow and be a little bit easier on your 
Recovery equipment, sure, yeah, it, it will do that. So would I buy it again? Yes, I will buy it again for 50 bucks. I like it. The snow is so bright out here that we're gonna try and film in here. This a snatch strap actually did way better than I had expected. It actually felt pretty soft and Nate had to pull me basically all the way here. Um, There's a lot of spots where I got I bottomed out and got stuck. We got tire chains on here. We did the best we could, but I'm bottoming out. It's just no lift kit on this thing. It's just too much for it. So you use the combination of this soft shackle, which I had been using before with the Jeep and with this, and it's still holding up really well. Um, you can kind of see on this side, this little bit of wrap is coming off because that's where it was pulling on right here. Um, but it doesn't affect anything at all. It's just a little bit looser than it was before. Still working great. This abrasion area here holding up really well. This was the side on Nate's that had the hard shackle not the soft shackle. The only thing that happened was this kind of area right here, but you can see this is a tire mark. Uh, when Nate was pulling me, we just left the strap attached and I drove over it multiple times. You can see on this side as well. So that is from me driving over it, not just from normal use. So overall, I'd say this held up really well and I do recommend it. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all the stuff you're supposed to do. If you got any comments, leave it down below. And uh, if you guys have any experience with some of the new Harbor Freight recovery gear, either good or bad, I want to hear about it. Leave it down in the comments. I want to know what your guys' experiences is with uh, this stuff. But by the looks of the quality of it and, you know, the couple of years, three years ago when this came out, it seems like Harbor Freight is stepping up their game as far as quality recovery equipment. And if you guys want to follow me on social media, I am at MuddyBeards 4x4. We got a website, MuddyBeards4x4.com. We got shirts, stickers, like this guy right here. And you can get all that, leave all the links in the description, uh, Amazon store, buying stuff on our Amazon store helps support the channel if you didn't know that already. And until next time, guys, we will see you on the trail.